Pamam. And just like that, we're on the bus. Heading up to Deer Lake, Newfoundland. And then we'll start hitching. Oh, what was that? Bonjour. What do you think you are, Quebec? Eh? Okay, I'm gonna get complicated. So we caught the ferry from Nova Scotia up to Newfoundland. We took a bus up to Deer Lake as far north as it, the bus will go. Now we're gonna hitch over to Gross Morn Park and we're gonna hike that because the weather is great here now and that's where all the views are. And then we're gonna hitch up to the northern tip of Newfoundland and walk back south. Yeah, and then we'll take the ferry back to Nova Scotia and then we'll go to Nova Scotia. So it's raining like crazy up in the tip of Newfoundland and it's not here. So we'll go check that out while the weather's good. Yeah, Woo. We're just out here living a life of glamor and luxury. Hiker Lux. All right, I guess to put them out. All right, cool. We're in Grossmore National Park. Let's go climb Grossmore Mountain. Today we reached the summit of Grosmore. What did you say, say you thought that was right there? A what? A fjord? 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 fjord. Yeah, this is our first fjord. And there's the trail. First night camping in Newfoundland, and I can't complain at all. What did I just do? You pooped. And? Saved my life. Because? Uh, you went the wrong way, no, again! No, that I be honest. I always go the wrong way. I like going the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Don't. Canada geese flying south for the winter.
man. Gross morning is beautiful. I got other stuff in my mind today, but this is really helping. Look at this. Hi, Mom. Splash. <laughs> Just like mangrove hopping down into swamps. I don't have fucking long legs. Did you go this way? Figure it out. Come on, Mentos. Definitely didn't step in there. Ah. You gotta become a ninja. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't verify it, but this joker says that uh, 
Pissing Falls, which is right up there. It's supposed to be the highest waterfall in all of Canada. Eastern Canada. Eastern Canada. Eastern Canada. Look how high that is. Pretty cool. Let's document this experience. What are you about to do? Go swimming. Why? Go get the stupid guy line that blew off my tail when I was trying it. There it is. Do, 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 do. You have swim trucks on. I don't understand. He's finally getting clean. It only took almost eight months. He's finally getting in the water. He says he's from Florida. Well, we just did the long range traverse. Yep. That was pretty cool. And then we decided not to do the northern traverse because it's all a bunch of bushwhacking with really crazy little hedges. Trail. And it's not on trail. And it's supposed to rain the next couple of days. So we said, the heck with it. Back to the IAT. So we're going back to the IAT via, how'd we get back to the IAT? Huh? How'd we get back to the IAT from the trail? I flew. He flew on a boat. Took a boat. It was awesome. We might have got to talk to a bunch of cool people. Look, that's the last of our mountains for a while. Maybe the whole trail. Let's find out. Back on the IAT! Yeah! Hey, look, fjords. Road, which is the trail. Let's see. I'm gonna go whale spot and see if I can spot any whales. Being flexible. Uh, so we're not gonna hitch all the way up to the meadows. We're just gonna walk up there all the way to the northern tip of Newfoundland. And then we're gonna hitch back south to where we just pulled out a Cromorne and then walk that back to the ferry in the southern point. Uh, it just seems to make more sense that way. Um, yeah, so we're walking. Goodbye, Gromorne National Park of Canada. Bye, Buddha. Sideways rain in Newfoundland. We're gonna zero and eat this food. Yes. It's good zero. It's been pretty gross all day. It just let up for a second. So having a beer brewed in Newfoundland and did a bunch of photo editing. Now I'm gonna do some video stuff for the IAT video and gonna make more pasta eat a whole bunch. Yeah, decent day. Buddha's gonna watch the US Open, get some tennis on. Yeah, get all rested up and do more stretches. Hey yo, we in the zero, and I got uh, some mozzarella, I got some spaghetti, I'm gonna bake some chicken, I got some gravy on the stove, and this hey, dude over here is watching the uh, US Open, cause we ain't going out there.
Okay, zero was good. Belly full of mountains of pasta and protein and veggies. And we should have a couple of days of no rain. Nice and kind of cool and kind of low dark clouds. It looks really nice, I like it. But we gotta get walking. So I'm walking. Newfoundland are very different from the skipping stones in Quebec. But I'm gonna find one. But first, I'm gonna watch the sunset. Let's see if I can find one of these whales up over there. I just saw there. Two old boys just pulled up in a pickup truck and they were like, hey, you know it's moose season. I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's like, well, you don't have any orange on. I said, well, we're, we're on the road the whole time. And he said, well, we're shooting from the road. I was, I was like, all right, I'm gonna put my orange on. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that in a minute and tell Buddha. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? Because you're a fool. Why am I a fool? Pronounce my axe meadows. Do it. You mean Lance Meadows? No. no. Oh, do you mean, uh, no. you, like how I said it to that guy, give us like a ride? Like how you said it to Garrett. Le, no. Le, le, you went le, le Meadows. <laughs> this guy can't walk anymore. He's gonna get a hernia. <laughs> that was so funny. Excuse me, sir? Sir? There's no overnight camping. Sir? Excuse me, sir? There's no overnight camping. Oh, I just got here. Where are you going? Hello? No, come on, you're the crow whisperer. Do it again. Perform, prank monkey. <laughs> so this morning, no joke, Woodrow and I are walking real close to each other on the highway. And this old timer pulls up in his pickup and he says, Jesus, I thought you were a moose. I saw four legs. I really thought you guys were a moose. anymore all of the stuff blew away all right we're gonna try to go see some caribou and some arctic foxes onward that was really cool we were hanging out at the headquarters visitor center of the park and uh, we were talking to Roberta from Saskatchewan who's one of the Rangers and she gave us a whole bunch of cool information 
about the indigenous, various indigenous people that used to live here, and the history of this place, and the history of the wildlife, and all the current things that are going on with it. Yeah, it was really interesting. She was a really cool person. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Now we're gonna see if we can go see some caribou and arctic foxes. It's probably too late in the day, but we're gonna try. That dude thought I was a moose too. But he didn't shoot me. And I thanked him for it. My feet hurt. I'm like 100, 150 miles overdue. But I can't get new shoes yet. Still got a while to go. We're still in transit. Hopefully they don't get lost this time. I guess a red truck just pulled over and told little Buddha, who's just right ahead of me, that uh, beware of polar bears. So <laughs> I guess we're in polar bear country. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can go get a three day resupply out of this place. Buddha's first time looking at Labrador. There it is. One thing that I really am enjoying about Newfoundland is all these little um, gardens everywhere. I've been seeing a lot of like squashes and zucchinis and stuff. And I don't know if they're like community gardens or what, but they're pretty neat. Makes me miss gardening a lot. Okay, now we're gonna walk 26 miles to the motel where we're going to hide out from the tropical storm Lee. 200 miles on these worn out shoes and I'm only two hiking days away from brand news. That's pretty. Hey machine, I found one of the guy lines for your tent. Okay, I just gotta get to the motel and then zero tomorrow, get away from this tropical storm. What used to be Hurricane Lee and it's 3.45 and the rain's supposed to start in 15 minutes. I think I can make it. Ha <laughs> ha, beat the rain. I'll let up raining for a little bit. Uh, but I'm glad I'm not hiking. That's for sure. I can hear the loons in the distance so pretty neat. That's our little abode, number nine. All right, we're gonna hitch into San Anthony, grab a day or two worth of food, uh, get some stuff for Buddha, and then try to hitch back to trail, and make our way up to Lens of Meadows National Historic Park. That's where the, uh, the northern terminus of the Eastern Continental Trail is in the IAT. So we'll go up there and should be there today or early tomorrow morning. Hitching a ride, hitching a ride, hitching a ride, hitching a ride, hitching a ride. Oop, I gotta put my thumb out. We got our hitch from St. Anthony's to 
lands and meadows. We're gonna go check out the northern tip and the Viking settlement, the historic settlement. And then we're gonna turn around and start walking south where just back to St. Anthony's where we got our hitch today. And then we will hitch down to Cowhead where we started our flip. And then keep walking south to the southern tip of Newfoundland. We'll catch our ferry back to Nova Scotia. We'll so hike Nova Scotia, clean up our flippity floppity mess. This is pretty awesome. What are you doing? Oh, look at this, new insoles. I'm gonna put them in my shoes. <laughs> you just wake up and you get a view. First day as a South founder, as a Sobo. Now we're just walking south and cleaning up miles. Yeah, feels pretty good and a little weird. Yeah, a little weird, but uh, feel great. So gonna get new shoes, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm excited about it. All right, that's the road where we caught our ride up to Plans and Meadows. So to get to that intersection, we're gonna hitch a couple hundred miles down to Cowhead, grab our shoes, we'll resupply, and finish up Newfoundland. One hitch down, who knows how many more to go. with the old and with the new. This new shoe day for both of us. Then we're gonna go hike 28 miles to a ferry. There's Gross Morn. That's a big old mountain we climbed a couple weeks ago when we did a long range traverse. So we're heading south now.
So today's September 21st. It's nine months as of today. And this character wanted to just hitch a ride on a coach bus, on a tour bus. <laughs> I wonder I was cold today walking in the rain. It's 35 degrees. Yeah, we did almost 24 miles, so let me get out of this junk. Buy a cute little cabin. I'm gonna do like two miles on this main road and then, ugh, thank goodness, get off of it and go to like some small mountain roads where there's less logging trucks and rock trucks. It'll be a lot quieter. Show me your uh, Hunter's Orange. Look at that. And then this is mine. And then I have more in the back. I don't know if you can see. And why, you ask? Ha <laughs> ha! Moose hides and stuff. Because they out here. Onward! Whoa. I haven't seen a warm-up shelter since Quebec. Let's go check it out. I'm just going to stay here. Okay. I'm gonna poop in my tent. <laughs> Finally, blue sky. Supplied. Sun came out. We're gonna go to our first buffet we found in Canada. <laughs> Ugh, for the love of all things good in this world, we should have great weather for the rest of Newfoundland and maybe even all of Nova Scotia. And hallelujah. Trail magic food of macaroni and Whoa. cheese and bananas and soda pop and garlic bread. How is it? Is it good? It's disgusting. <laughs> He's, He's lying. lying. He's lying. Last night was great. Little Buddha went into this uh, general store, talking everybody up. 
And then he went into this bar next door to uh, charge his devices. And the owner of both establishments invited us in to uh, stay in the gazebo behind. It was awesome. Doug and Donna, they're fantastic. These are still part of the Appalachian mountain range. Uh oh, time to wash these socks. I can smell them while I'm hiking. That ain't a good thing. We are leaving Newfoundland. We're walking to the Tim Hortons for the coffee brekkie. And then we're gonna get on a ferry. Bump over to Nova Scotia. I keep walking and walking, you should be done this week. What is this guy pointing at? Welcome to Port of Bass, the start of the Newfoundland section of the Centier de National de Appalache. Whoa! We did it! Ducks. Use your big fucking arms. We're gonna celebrate finishing the SIA in Newfoundland by going to Timmy Hortons. All right. Time to pop on this ferry back to Nova Scotia. We're back in Nova Scotia. Service animals go this way. Very. Gonna get some. My donair. My first donair. Baby's first donair. Bianchini's Pizzeria. We're here in North Sydney. Coming at you hot. And the place that we're staying is some Airbnb right down there. Or bed and breakfast. That's what it is. Not Airbnb. I don't think this bad boy is gonna survive the night. 